Hey guys. So Bob from uh, AKA Blitzkrieg Metalworks had uh, posted a nice video response to my uh, video some time ago about, uh, you know, how did you get your start in modeling? And he expounded on that. He uh, asked kind of the community and asked for some video responses if possible about, uh, you know, why do you build what you build? And I think that's pretty a pretty easy question for me to answer, actually. Um, I love tanks. <laughs> I love stuff on the ground. Uh, you know, we all, you know, build, of course, um, what we like to build for our own reasons. Uh, I have, you know, a ton of aircraft models, you know, in the stash, and I'll, I'll get there someday, but I, I prefer armor. I prefer ground subjects in general, not just tanks. And it, it, for me, it's the history. Uh, it all comes down to the history. So, air power never wins a war alone. That may be controversial for some, but to me, it always comes down to the 19-year-old private on the ground with a rifle. And uh, you got to take and hold that ground. Now, air power certainly can influence a war, and it can it can change the outcome of a war, uh, but it doesn't win a war. Um, not in my opinion, anyways. And I'm certainly not an expert on the subject. Uh, but I just love tanks. I love the they just look mean with the big gun and the turret and the sleek look. You know, even from the earliest uh, years of of World War One, these things just they were just awesome. It was the penultimate example of uh, 20th century and now 21st century uh, firepower, and uh, I just love them. Uh, and even the modern stuff, I in the past had um, modeled pretty much just. Uh, uh, World War II subject. Stan, I'm branching out now more to Cold War modern era stuff, uh, much like the uh, Tamiya Challenger 2 that I'm working on now. And I guarantee you I'll be doing more modern builds because I'm absolutely enjoying it. So uh, that's why I build what I build. I just love the tanks. And, you know, you, you can't be afraid to get them muddy. Um, and they get dirty in the field. And that just makes that many more um, options for the bill during the during the process you know airplanes by and large for the most part gotta be relatively clean other than maybe some oil stains and some minor pitch, uh, paint chipping here and there but they gotta be clean because things have to you know be in the air and you don't want anything to impede airflow and that would somehow uh, restrict or, or prohibit or retard rather the performance of the aircraft um, while it's in the air so uh, it's just all the different possibilities, you know, the, this, all these things that you can do um, with a tank build and all the diorama possibilities. Um, and I'm not saying that um, there aren't other diorama possibilities with other genres. It's just that, to me, this is uh, it's just what I enjoy doing. And in the past, I have kind of leaned towards, you know, World War II Axis subjects. And I still got a ton, don't worry, <laughs> I have a bunch. And I will build a lot of them at some point. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm digging the, the armor, the, the modern stuff too. So, uh, but guys, uh, that was this is really just kind of a short answer to uh, Bob's question, and I certainly appreciate him uh, posing that to the group. And I hope you enjoyed my brief answer. <laughs> Everybody, uh, take care, and I will talk to you later. Bye bye.